Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You might watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising to gain more insight into what's coming in for you this week. Uh, please keep in mind these are general readings, so take them as they resonate. I'm beginning with my Medicine Woman Oracle to get the underlying theme for the week. And then I'll be pulling from my Crystal Magic Tarot for your daily energy. So we're going to see what Spirit has, please, for Aquarius. What is coming in for them for the week of January 15th, please? If you like the reading, please hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Um, leave me a comment. Uh, say hello. I enjoy hearing from you. Okay, here we go. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius, please? Okay, um, <laughs> I just dropped cards. Um, we have Spirit of Earth jumping out and Embrace. Uh, have faith you are supported and Embrace. Remember your primordial nature. You are a vessel. And I'm going to look these up, or at least one of them. Let me see what we have. The Spirit of Earth, uh, 19... Here, uh, there's Embrace. Uh, it's nice. If I can find 19, we'll be all set. My pages are sticking together. Oh my, that's not it. Where's 19? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Spirit of Earth. This card reminds you that you are a daughter of Gaia, our primordial mother. She invites you to plunge your roots into her earth to ground yourself and manifest your dreams. Support your health with fruit and vegetables from her body. Medicinal plants and clay are powerful allies for you. Perhaps you're having trouble bringing a project to life or finding your rightful place. The spirit of earth is your reading Oh, the spirit, sorry, the spirit of earth in your reading renews your faith. Reconnect with your inner earth, your uterus, the seat of feminine power. You are safe. Um, and then the embrace card says to obtain your victories, you may have become a fighter, warrior, or hyperactive person. Be proud of your successes. However, this card asks a fundamental question. Enclosed in armor to be efficient, holding fast to a defensive position, have you cut yourself away from your feelings and vital source of infinite possibilities? Remember your primordial nature. You are a vessel. You have the ability to be flowed through. It's time to stop struggling. Surrender to what is here, to life presenting itself before you. A relationship, project, child. The key word is embrace. The primordial word on both those cards. <laughs> Connect with Gaia, with nature, Mother Earth. All right, I'm going to pull now from the crystal magic, but I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see what I'm pulling. Okay, so what do we have for Sunday, please, Spirit? What do we have for Sunday for Aquarius, please? Sunday for Aquarius. Okay. Uh, we've got like three cards here jumping out at us. Uh, we have the Empress <laughs> birthing something new, a new project. Uh, something creative. Hmm. And we have the judgment. Ah, clarity. Honoring your truth, yourself. You're, oh, okay. So you're, you're wanting to create something here. You're beginning a new project. You're birthing something. The opportunity here to create, um, but whatever this endeavor is, you're honoring your truth. You're becoming very clear on what it is that you wish to create. 
and the hanged man here, seeing things from every perspective, every angle, taking the time uh, to gain perspective. I like this. I like this. That's what Sunday is all about. Gaining perspective and understanding. Uh, you're wanting to birth something and it's something that uh, honors your truth and your... All right, we have three cards again. I'm going to move these over. <laughs> so make room for that. Um, we have the devil. Something's been holding you back and it's time to release that. It's time to transform that energy. Um, do the necessary healing that you need to do to move forward to set yourself free of whatever it is that holds you back. We have the Queen of Coins here. Yeah, step into your confidence, your boldness, your abundance here. Um, you have a very uh, nurturing energy, earthy energy, abundant energy. Nurture the project. Nurture this creative project, this endeavor where you're looking to go. Tap into your resources here, this Five of Coins here. Um, perhaps you're not seeing all the resources available to you. Uh, recognize them when they are there and utilize those resources to create what you're seeking to create. Um, these cards provide crystals for you. This one has malachite. We have gold here. We have amethyst, iolite here, uh, amazonite, and chrysocolla. Um, if you're looking for crystals to support your energies on those days. All right, let's see. What do we have for Tuesday, please? Okay, Tuesday, we have the Knight of Coins coming out here for Tuesday. Okay, so take that slow, deliberate action. Plant those seeds. Move forward uh, till that fertile soil and plant your seeds. Create your success here. Take that forward movement toward that success, that abundance, that security. Plant your seeds. What do we have for Wednesday, please? Okay, Wednesday, the Knight of Wands. Wow, right next to the Knight of Coins. <laughs> following your passions, your desires, moving in that direction, not letting anything hold you back, moving boldly forward in that. Then we have, look at this, we have two kings coming out here. We have the king of swords, that intellect, that wisdom, clarity, and intelligence. Then we have the king of cups, which is the emotional side. Find the balance there. Embrace both of those. Bring them together. Find the balance in the emotional and the intellectual. All right. What do we have on Friday, please? Wow, look at this. You guys got lots of cards jumping out here. Another king. The king of wands. Yes, passionate, fiery, bold going after what you desire, unhindered. We have the Eight of Swords showing up with that as well. Um, maybe there's a feeling of being stuck. You've been feeling stuck. You're not. It's an illusion. Um, I like the sun up here, fiery sun. Go after that. King of Wands is fiery, passionate energy. Move boldly forward. Um, there's no blindfold. There's no... Um, ties on her hands, her legs, nothing. She's not bound. Um, she has the ability to stand up and walk out of this situation and move forward in her passions and desires. Don't let anything hold you back. It's, it's a false perception. You are free to move forward. Let's see what Saturday has, please, for Aquarius. Okay. 
Okay. Um, the lover's card. Partnership, some relationship, uh, union. Um, don't know what it is. Um, it could be uh, a personal relationship. It could be a love that you have for, or a passion that you have um, in a career uh, or a, um, on your life's path, something that you feel is your calling or your purpose. So whatever this is, it is divinely appointed. It is a divine union partnership. Nurture that. Nurture that. Um, if it is a relationship, be open to nurturing that and growing that if there's somebody close to you and um, there's the possibility of a deeper relationship. Let's um, pull from the Beltane Oracle in closing. a little too much. There we have it. Okay. We have goddess in closing here. Goddess. Make sure to feel it in your bones for you are what you believe. Yes. All right. Uh, knowing what you believe, knowing your truth, what direction you want to move in, honoring yourself, um, not letting anything hold you back, setting yourself free, moving forward in those passions and those desires. Moving forward. You are supported. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in universe. Um, the support is there. All right, let me pull a rune. And we have Sawilo, uh, very in positive rune, uh, all about um, enthusiasm, um, optimism, inner drive. Your success is coming. Things are coming to a happy conclusion. Continue to pursue those passions, those desires. Nurture the relationship. Nurture the dream. Nurture yourself as well. Um, and honor yourself. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed week.